Okay, this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, download the Citrix plugin so that you can access Citrix from home. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I just want to create a directory in my documents area so that I can save the Citrix installation files. Uh, you can see I've already got a downloads file. So I'm going to create a new directory um, called downloads2. So new folder and just rename it downloads2. All done. Yeah. And close it down. Okay, now I can go to Internet Explorer and I need to put in the address for the Citrix uh, website, um, the Nailsy School Citrix website. And I need to, you must remember to put in an S. So I'll just uh, type it in here. And what it is is HTTPS. Go on front slash front slash Citrix dot nlz dot in hyphen somerset or dash dot sch dot uk ok hit the enter and this tends to take a couple of seconds to load um, basically you know you're on the Citrix website this is actually seeing whether or not we've got the plugin or not already um, what we need to do is log into the Nelson School Citrix website with our network username and password. That's the one we use on the network. Okay. And this will take you into um, the application client detection. It's just seeing if we've got the application installed. And if not, it will come up with this little box here. And I must select the agreement box, it just agrees that I accept the license agreement and so on. And I need to click on download in order to do this. Okay, once I've selected the download, um, what it will do is uh, actually start downloading and as usual it will give me the option to run or save. I'm going to save it and um, what I'm going to do is actually save the file into the downloads to directory that we created just now and click on save and download so that, as you can see it's about six megabytes um, shouldn't take too long these days on a quick uh, quick internet speed close that and I'll now close Internet Explorer because um, we're installing a plugin into Internet Explorer you need it closed in order to do it uh, let's go off and find the uh, downloads to directory where I've saved the file. There it is. And what I'm going to do is run the MSI, Microsoft Installer file, and this will install the Citrix plugin application. That's all it's doing. It's just so that you can run Citrix apps across the internet, and it just makes all the links up and so on. Uh, it can take a couple of minutes to get going and uh, once it's off it will install the application as you can see uh, tells you the progress okay let's close that down just so you can see this bar there you are, so all complete um, so it may take a couple of minutes to do this so just be patient with it once you've done that you can go back to Internet Explorer and I can go back to the website Citrix at Nelsy. Put in my username and password and it runs a quick detection. Sees that I've got the plugin installed and it should take me directly to my desktop uh, where the applications are. There you go, and we're in. And these are the application folders for the software that we've got on the system. So you can run any one of those applications um, or you can run a full desktop which I will show you at a later time. This is all the technology applications. And to go back, I just click on the back button and we're all done. Disconnect to my